I'm here with one of my favorite guys in all the state of Oregon, Steve Perry. You're the first band we've had on the show that, that has spanned over two decades. Wow. That is an impressive feat. Yeah. Bands come and go. What's the secret? After we had Zoot Suit Riot and had the big hit stuff, we took our feet off the throttle a little bit and everybody took care of their own life. But for us, it was always about music, you know, it's about the songs. It's not about, you know, we didn't get into it for a lot of people who come go to Los Angeles and put their little cards and stuff. We don't do that. So you started the group then? Yeah. What was the inspiration? I sold a drum kit and bought a banjo and wrote some jazz tunes on this banjo. I tuned the strings different so that I could play it like a guitar and wrote this kind of Dixieland kind of stuff. And, you know, I just wanted to do something different, you know, that was... The punk rock back then was do your own thing, and you know don't be a don't be a tool. Do what everybody else does. <laughs> do your own thing. So that was our that was our little thing, you know. And people liked it. Arrangete! From a conflict And in his dreams he freed himself To be with others Like a loving brother But then he turned away But then he turned away The only time the isolation Never brings us all stage Everybody will be Turned out to his job At a nigga Boom, ba 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 My mama make me see And I can get a lot Boom, ba ragga like a boom Talk about your new album. It's a concept album, more than anything else. There's a lot of genres on it, different styles, but there's a story beneath the whole thing. It's like, I guess it's a rock opera or whatever, but it, it sort of is a, for, for us. It's like a kind of a story that goes through it. And, uh, you know, there's, a, there's some Latin, there's a lot of Latin. People go, oh, there's a lot of Latin stuff on this record. It's just, there is. Got a Caribbean. Show. Yes, at points. And then uh, sw some swing, some ska, and some glammy stuff. But the point is more the story underneath it. Take me now, take me now, baby. I know it's, I know it's more than just a good time. Take me now, take me now, baby. I know it's, I know it's more than just a good time. A good We're two of the more styling dudes in the house tonight. What's your name? Davis. Clarence. Okay, so talk about the duds first. Where'd you get the duds, man? The red light on Hawthorne. Do you dress like this to pick up the chicks or dress like this because the music inspires you to? Both. Is there a third option? <laughs> There's not a third option, but there should be. I'm here with Tony and Wendy. These guys were cutting a rug, I'm told. We've been dancing since college. In fact, that's how we met. Cherry Pop and Daddy's from Eugene, Oregon. How cool is it to see them in Portland just rocking the place, bringing it back? They're awesome. It's funk, it's punk, and it's swing. It's really swing. It's yeah. just, I mean, it just gets, you, gets your blood pumping. You want to dance? You can't sit down. I can't sit down when they play. I just want to dance all night. Summer ends in bed on a dirt back chasing bed. All those kids with tennis balls and a whiffle bat. And dads, Playboy Santa Bones, and the nine or so we go. Sit in fields with fireflies and smoke the cigarettes we stole. Oh yeah, and the sunlight crawls around you. Oh yeah, and draws our fable that we. Ground and rain on my tongue under 
the blood orange sun. Oh yeah, Honda, the blood orange sun. So a question I've been meaning to ask, and I've wanted to ask this for, for years if I ever got the chance to meet you, is when Zoot Suit Ride happened to you guys, and you went just straight to the top, how did that change your life? It made certain things a lot easier, because you know we made some money, um, but you know, I tell you what, at, I would get, when we were really huge, I'd go down the street, people would scream at me from the cars. I'm glad I went through it. It actually taught me a bunch of things, you know, like, be careful what you wish for, you know? Oh, it might happen. <laughs> Your moves on stage, man, where did you learn how to move like that? Did, did you teach yourself? Did you get, did, just, just feeling it? Just fear. <laughs> just fear. It's like, you know, like a monkey in a cage. Just absolute <laughs> terror. terror.